What is it about Wonder Kids that means we just can't get enough of them? There's something thrilling about a spotty teenager nobody's ever heard of coming on with 15 minutes to go. There's the excitement of seeing a virtual unknown try to make their mark. And we're morbidly fascinated with just how young they are. He's 17 and has just knocked in a screamer. I'm 19 and I've failed my driving test three times. We all know the stories of Freddy Adu, Kerrison and Curlon, football manager world beaters who went on to achieve the square root of absolutely nothing when they moved to big clubs in real life. And you've got to have been living under a rock not to know about the meteoric rises of players like Leo Messi, Neymar, Gareth Bale and Sergio Aguero who were tipped for greatness and actually made it. But what about those players who don't fall into either category? Players like Martin Odegaard? What the fuck even happened to him? Well, we're glad you asked. You might remember the Norwegian protégé from such films as moving from your small Norwegian hometown and signing for Real Madrid at the age of 15. Already a full international, the Nordic Theo Walcott looked like that harmless but slightly weird foreign exchange bloke who had to sleep on an airbed in your room for two weeks in year nine. He made his first appearance in the Spanish capital as the club's youngest ever debutant, aged just 16 and 157 days but his move to Madrid was branded a PR exercise by Carlo Ancelotti. And one substitute appearance during an end of season 7-3 win does not make a career at one of the world's biggest clubs. Unusually, Odegaard trained with Cristiano Ronaldo, Luka Modric, Sergio Ramos and the rest of the big boys, but then dropped back down to play Castilla matches on the weekends. He'd gone from playing regular top flight Norwegian football to turning out in the Spanish third division with a reserve side. And after only one more cup appearance with the first team, something had to be done. Real Madrid is a, it's a great club, but it's, it's so many good players there uh, in the first team, so it's uh, very difficult to get to play there. So I think after two years in the second team, I think it was the right moment for me to, to look for something else, to, to play some first team football, because I, I think that's the most important thing, to play, to play games. And I, that's the reason I'm here, to, to hopefully get to play many games and develop as a player and then go back to Madrid as, as a better player. So an 18-month loan to Heronveen in the Eredivisie beckoned. The internet laughs him off as a fraud and Odegaard is consigned to the scrap heap. Roundly mocked, turned into a few memes and we all get on with our lives. Or do we? While the world at large has forgotten about Odegaard, he's been getting his head down in Northern Holland, becoming a regular starter in a young team pushing for the Europa League playoffs. He's also signed a new deal at the Bernabeu until 2021 and has continued to pick up Norway caps along the way. Not too bad, really, for someone who's only just turned 19. But the big question is, could he be the first wonder kid to be labelled a flop and then still make it at the very top? If you were to base your answer on stats alone, you'd have to say no. The Norwegian has only registered a handful of goals and assists since moving to the Netherlands. But that doesn't quite tell the whole story, and there are a lot of different opinions on just how well he's doing. One school of thought dictates that if he can't set a pretty weak league like the Eredivisie alight, at the age of 19, then he's got no chance of making it at Real Madrid or any other top side for that matter. Another says that he's playing in a pretty technically limited team who don't necessarily play to his strengths and he's still managing to show more than the occasional glimpse of quality. Whatever way you look at it and whatever you think of Odegaard's prospects, one thing is clear. Writing off a player while they're still essentially a child is ludicrous. We're not saying he's going to be the next Cristiano Ronaldo, but even though it feels like he's been around forever, He's still only 19, and it's simply too early to tell. Oh, no. Harry Kane didn't pull up any trees during his loan spells away from Tottenham as a youngster, and look at him now. Whether it's the 24-hour rolling news cycle, banter accounts, or what Mark of Peep Show once called our fast food culture of instant gratification, that's to blame. You can't expect every player that breaks through to be an instant hit. So here's to you, Martin Odegaard. Let's hope yours can be a narrative of redemption, rather than yet another tale of a superstar whose talent came to nothing.